Fairfax County is making great strides in the area of climate, energy, and the environment. As chairman, I recently established a joint environmental task force called the JET, which consists of two members of the Board of Supervisors and two members of the school board. I'm excited about this collaboration and look forward to the innovative and visionary ideas that will stem from the JET. We are also partnering with the school board to seek bids to install solar panels at more than 200 school and government buildings. This represents a large-scale countywide commitment to renewable energy. I'm hopeful this step forward will set a positive tone for our students and the business community in Fairfax County. While Fairfax County government and school facilities produce 3% of carbon emissions, the other 97% is generated by residents and businesses. It is important that we all do our part to be leaders in energy efficiency. Fairfax County is in its third year of Solarize Fairfax County. This is a campaign to help reduce the cost and the complexity of installing solar panels for homes and businesses. Overall, more than 1,800 homeowners and businesses have received free solar site assessments, and more than 60 have signed contracts for the discounted panels. New this year, we're offering discounted electric vehicle charging stations as part of the Solarize Fairfax County campaign. For the second year in a row, Fairfax County offered an LED light bulb exchange at regional public libraries. Residents could receive up to five free LEDs per household. In 2018, we distributed 8,000 LEDs, which equates to a total savings of nearly 200,000 kilowatt hours and $22,000 each year. Fairfax County was recognized as a Tree City USA by the Arbor Day Foundation in 2019. This marks the 36th year in a row. Our county has approximately 44 million trees and our tree cover is 57%. With these great numbers, we have already exceeded our 30-year tree canopy goal. Trees add tremendous value to our environment as well as to our property values. And we encourage residents and businesses to continue to plant. Recently, the Board of Supervisors adopted the first ever operational energy strategy, which calls for reducing energy consumption in local government facilities by 20% per square foot over the next 10 years. We have also updated our environmental vision and included funding for new staff positions for the new Office of Environmental and Energy Coordination. I am confident that the future Board of Supervisors will continue to build upon this foundation with even bolder visions and goals to ensure a healthy environment for generations to come.